Wadi is um, one of the last uh, Marwan son that Al Shakab have developed as stallions in the last 10 years. I was fortunate to have uh, most of them uh, standing with us in training and for breeding. And for sure, um, we had a lot of success with this group of horses. And Wadi, nevertheless, is uh, for sure an icon from all of them. He's very important to us as uh, personally, I believe, as a farm, uh, is a horse that came from us. He was born uh, at Michael Byatt Arabians and then uh, he came to us when he was just a baby. Conosco Wadi dal 2011, da quando era Puledro, poco più di un Puledro di un anno. E ha un carattere molto, molto dolce, un, è un ragazzone, ecco, anche adesso che è uno stallone. L'ho seguito durante il mondiale del 2012 e lui ha vinto, ha fatto campione del mondo Puledro. Poi siamo andati anche in Qatar con lui, l'ho seguito un mese là nel, nelle scuderie di Ashakab. Insomma, sono molto contento anche perché ha ottenuto sempre vittorie, ecco. Lo sto seguendo per questa gara di Mentone. Era nel 2012 era World Champion. Nel um, stesso anno era Mentone Gold Champion. Era il più alto del show e era il migliore del show. E poi, dopo questo, aveva avuto un po' di anni. Due anni fa, nel 2015, He went to Qatar uh, for a small breeding season and then we decided to show him in the international show in Doha. Well, he was his first show as a stallion. He was becoming from a junior to a stallion and um, he was very good and he won the championship in Qatar and beating several world champions, which was very, very amusing. And um, after that, a couple months later, he came back here and uh, because some issue he had since he was a baby, he felt sick and um, he had to go through surgery. It was a really rough time, it was around Christmas. It was like, we knew that something was wrong with him since few months, but we couldn't find uh, really what was wrong with him. And uh, so for us, uh, we took care of him and I was in the clinic with him for five days and Actually, you know, he had to have a really life-threatening surgery. And at one point, I remember, you know, we didn't know if he was going to make it or not. So I was there with him day and night. And it was kind of, you know, he's one of the horses that, you know, for a reason or another, they are attached to you. You know, they are a part of your uh, life. You know, beside the winning, we are uh, people that we live day by day with the horses. We are 24 hours with the horses, and especially with this kind of animal you get attached and uh, to all of them, especially when these bad things happen, you know, it's um, for sure it gets you really much more deep inside than with others. So for me, other than celebrating him as a stallion or as a producer or if he's a uh, world champion horse or, you know, world champion breeding stallion, it's like having with us every day, it's a gift, it's a celebrating his life and then makes us all really happy. So we are uh, happy to have him back here and um, he's looking very good, probably better than he never did. Yeah, and it's nice to take the challenge again with another Ashakab horse, Stallion, aiming to the top. So we'll start from Menton and hopefully we'll talk again in a few months.